Asghar. Did you know this? But he was the best who trod this earth after the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Undisputed. He was the highest of rank of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and may he bless us all. Those are our role models. Those are the people we should be looking at. The reason why people choose lowly and cheap role models of today is because we do not know the lives of the others. We don't know what they did. We've never taken the moment to try and open their lives and to read the story books. But we've read all the other books that have come out. May Allah protect us. We've read about every fairy tale there is to read about. We haven't read reality and we don't even know who the Sahaba radiallahu anhum are. So how would we then have them as role models? But even then, it is important in society for us to have a few role models who have achieved in terms of goodness. However, when it comes to us, sometimes as human beings, we have weaknesses as well. You may have to take something from someone and discount a few things. You may have to take something from a person and you may find that certain qualities of theirs are not worth emulating. This afternoon, I was speaking to a few brothers saying, when we imitate, we imitate that which is correct. Do not imitate a mistake. You know, some people say, oh, mashallah, you know, this person makes beautiful adhan. Mashallah. So now they want to imitate the adhan. They imitate the mistake that person makes as well. May Allah protect us. If that person is making a big mistake in that adhan, you can take the tune from them. You can take everything else from them, but you correct the error. So you become even better by the will of Allah. But if you're just going to take the mistake knowing that it's an error and not willing to listen to any correction in that particular case, what would happen? We would never be able to excel. My brothers and sisters, the youth, I have learned something from my own father who always tells me, son, never feel bad when you are corrected. Never. When you are corrected, thank Allah and thank the person who's corrected you. The youth of today feel very bad when you say, my brother, you know what? I think this is wrong. We need to choose a good way, obviously, of talking. But even after choosing the best possible way, according to us, you say something and they just discount you totally. You see, that one is talking nonsense. He doesn't know what he's saying. But we want you to succeed. We have generations to build. Look at the prophecies of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They are coming true one after the other. And we know that it's happening. How then can we not educate ourselves to save ourselves and to save our family members and the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? We ask Allah to protect us. It's important for us to educate ourselves. And like we say, without having the correct role models, we will end up having the wrong role models. And this now has to be addressed also to parents. My parents, when you show a keen interest in a specific direction, your children may end up showing a keener interest than you in the same direction. In the same direction. And this is why we say, make sure you realize the responsibility, the responsibility that's upon your shoulders when you have children. Many of us, we have children, but we are children ourselves. We don't even know what it's all about, really. We haven't yet grown up. So what has happened? We have immature people who've given birth to immature people who remain immature they call it murakkab which means it becomes double and quadruple may allah protect us i hope that's not the case with us seated here and with those listening i hope it's not the case we really need to understand how we need to change our lives when we have a family we have children let's not wait for that day because that would that would also result in an issue can i tell you why if we wait for the day we have children before we turn, perhaps the decision we've made of what type of a spouse to have would already predetermine how we would act when we have children. So if we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as youth, we will be able to make a correct decision of a spouse. Spouse, who is your wife? Who is your husband? What type of a husband do I want? What type of a wife do I want? Subhanallah. And we need not only to say what type do I want, but the type I want, would they want someone like me? Very important question. 
Some people say, I want to marry a very, very good person. But brother or sister, are you good? Would that good person want someone like you? Or you just want to ride on their back?